Ya, jadi ya, Luis. School, let's go. Ya. Hello everyone, a very good afternoon to all of you. I am Nafis from Excel Academy and I am your host for today. So welcome to our weekly learning hour webinar. To celebrate the National Training Week 2023, we have arranged special webinar session throughout the week with different topics for you. So make sure to check out our social media platform for the upcoming topics. All right. So today we have our second topic for this week, which is create email marketing funnels and content that gets open clicks and conversion. So if, if you have any question regarding this topic, do leave your message in the comment section and Mr. Alex will answer them right after her, after his presentation. So, all right, let's not wait anymore. Now I pass this floor to Mr. Alex. Hello, good evening. Uh, not good evening, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the large lunch and learn session. My name is Alex and uh, thank you very much for spending this time. So let's get into it. Huh? I want to make sure that you, are, you come here not to waste time, but to beneficial from the talk, right? So I'm going to click present, share screen, and entire screen. All right. So today's topic is about email marketing, right? Email marketing, and a lot of re a lot of times people will ask me, you know, email marketing is like for quite some time, but not sure it's still working. So my question is to you, huh? Okay, I'm gonna skip my introduction. My question is to you is, does email marketing still works? And if you go to Google and you type email marketing is the first result is dead, right? Email marketing is dead. So is this so? Is this so? Right. So let's think a bit more. Some of you may say that, you know, I don't really check emails or some you say, you know, I do still check emails. Okay. So let's ask some questions. Huh? Um, before I send the question, sorry, let me share with you this uh, email marketing benchmark response by get response. This is the latest one, 2023 email marketing benchmarks. Guest response is a CRM tool. Customer relationship management email marketing tools. They collected um, worldwide statistics, right? On e emails, open rate, click through rate, right? So if you look at Malaysia, if you look at Malaysia, average open rate uh, for Malaysian is about 18.78%. Okay, so it's about 18 to 19%. Right, this this is all across all industry, yeah? across all industry, and of course you realize that hey, Singapore, our neighbor, is actually sixteen percent, and then maybe like Ukraine, okay, not relevant. United States is thirty percent, Vietnam is twenty four. So different country will have different open rates. The truth is, the statistics still, um, from here, we still have quite numbers of open rates. If you ask me, All right, and click through rate. Click through it, that means after they open, they click is about 3.41%. And subscribe rate is 0.07, it's okay, which is fine. So, meaning to say, every 100 emails that you send out, it should be 18 to 19 people open our email. Okay, it should be 18 to 19 people open our email. So, if you ask me, would that help? What about if you have 1,000 emails, if you have 10,000 emails, right? It's especially if you are in e commerce. Well, happen if you have 20,000 emails, right? So it's a volume game, number one. Number two, it definitely has its function, okay? So do you still check emails? Do you have Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail? I believe you do, right? Because we need email to do a lot of things. Example, to send emails, duh, and then we need emails to do what? To log into Facebook, Right to log in to your TikTok account, to your Instagram account, all these things requires you to have an email. So if you're not email, you can't create a Facebook account, right? So email marketing is here to stay, and it has been in the market for a lot of years. I think more than thirty years, not more than fifty years already. Yeah, and it's still proven to work. It's just that. A lot of people are abusing it. You know, there's a lot of uh, what do you call a lot of things that people will try to do a scam example to make a lot of people to make wrong decision or spam people 
Yeah, so that's why a lot of times we feel that email marketing doesn't really help us much. So email marketing channel is a way to deliver valuable emails. Huh? So the keyword here talking about email marketing is valuable email, right? It can be your offers. It can be something that is helpful to your audience and other useful content directly goes into a user's inbox. That's the function of email marketing. Now, one mistake or one common challenges I always see people do is the email marketing that they send uh, is always advertisement, right? So there's a reason, there's a good reason why people say I don't check email nowadays is because a lot of emails that they check, I mean, that they receive probably are all sales emails. So no one like to get pushed to buy things every time, right? So if you don't provide value to your subscribers on emails, then you're going to lose out and you will just have more and more people's uh, reports uh, about the, the, the list and subscribe, you know, this is what is going to happen. So why should we continue, you know, why should we shouldn't ignore email marketing is because if you only focus on building your community on Instagram and Facebook, and you can look at this, huh? now Stephen Malaw is a IG expert, right? And he says that uh, I wake up to this today, right? What's the deal? We have suspended your Instagram account. So he has about, I think almost 200,000 followers. This is Twitter, this is Twitter post. Huh? You have suspended your account. So when you wake up one day, you wake up and see that Instagram suspended your account. So it's a scary thing, right? Now this is my friend. This is my friend. We suspended your account. Your account doesn't, your activity doesn't follow our community. You have 30 days left to disagree with the decision. That's it. So what can you do is you can, this is Facebook. If Facebook suspended your account, and you have 30 days left to disagree. They will give you a button, say, I disagree. That's it. That's all you can do. After that, you will have to wait to see whether they want to release back your account. So if you only focus on social media, then you will have this risk. Sometimes you don't, we don't even know what we did wrong that causes the suspension, right? So email marketing serves as another channel to keep your community together. Some people will say, oh, can I use Facebook group? Sure, Facebook group is another channel. Uh, some people may use Telegram group, WhatsApp group. Now, whenever it is, email marketing is a channel just for you, an additional channel for you to reach out to your audience and subscribers, all right? So that's why email marketing is important. So another few reasons for us to consider email marketing is number one, it's easy and affordable to get started. Okay, and you have 100% of ownership of your database. Instead of putting all your database on an Excel master list, right? So you can put it into a CRM tool, an email marketing service tool to help them broadcast to do automation. Huh? So I think this is very important. And then it can help you nurture and drive future and repeat sales, right? Hence, it will increase your LTV. LTV stands for lifetime value of a customer. You see, you use emails not to ask your customers or prospect to keep buying more, right? You can structure and design the funnel that way. But the goal here is to use that to build community, to nurture and drive future, future sales. Huh? So what you want to do, you spend a lot of money at cost on Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, but all the money that you spend, you generate the leads. So what are you going to use the leads for? How are you going to maximize and leverage? the existing data if you just put them into excel sheet so you are not really maximizing the leads right so why not put these leads that you have put in money in the marketing cost put into crm and then you do what we educate we build relationship with them they don't buy from you now doesn't mean they don't buy from your future isn't it so this is something that we need to understand huh? okay what else Save advertising costs. So like I said, if you only focus on running advertising, you realize that the ad cost is going to be more expensive. Okay, now it's already happening because of inflation, because of competition, the market dynamics. So CRM, 
once you upload the database or the people comes into your funnel it's yours it's yours okay so no one can take that away and it has it's more stable in terms of the policy changes right compared to social media and a search engine algorithm the changes like for example you cannot use this word you cannot use this before after result image you know you cannot say this you cannot say that you cannot use this hashtag you cannot use that hashtag so it's it's very fast and there's so many minds that we don't know which one are we going to get right you're going to step on the minds that randomly that we don't even know is a mind right so to understand email marketing first we must have to we, we need to know that email marketing have less changes in terms of changing the rules huh? so it will helps you you don't have to do a lot of changes you can just apply just follow some of the guideline and you will see your open rates and click through rates increase and of course it helps you connect with your audience through another channel you can use facebook instagram then crm email marketing is another way to help you reach out to them additional touch point things that you can do with email marketing so let's take a look so one you can use it as a way to acquis for acquisition acquisition can be leads can be uh, customers right so you can also use email marketing software to help you to do branding keep sending people available contents updates right and makes people remember you other than just doing it on social media social media you post consistently right and then if you don't post consistently as long then people will just scroll down and they are going to bombard by a lot of other content a lot of other brands out there but email marketing has less that noise okay and then you can drive sales yeah send it to people who are the most hot hot means they open your emails the most often they buy the most expensive products from you the people that you consider as vip so you can drive future sales you can drive sales continuously you increase your average revenue yeah without even spending any at cost anymore because you have already acquired them many many years or many many months back so those money that you put in to generate leads like six months ago you can still use until now that to convert into sales so you can use that as an engagement to build relationship to get them to reply to you and then you can also use it as a way to promote your referral program get them to share your emails forward your emails you can use this to drive traffic back to your website for example you release a new blog post you have a new event press releases then you can get your readers your subscribers customers click go back to the website and boost the traffic on your website yeah so definitely it helps in seo part two and you can use it as reactivation reactivation means people comes to your email marketing funnels not everyone is active right so let's say 100 people maybe 30 people are only active in your community and the 70 people maybe they are busy they don't really um they don't really check your emails or they may become what they call deactivated okay or inactive huh? inactive list so you can create a funnels to reactivate this group of people to continue open up your emails or click through right so later i'll explain a bit about reactivation so if you have a list of people who you have not been in touch for a very long time or they are considered inactive list you can have a funnel structure in such a way that to reactivate this group of people right so you can also use it as a retention get people to uh, you know it's like a branding huh? you keep people in mind that hey i'm here hey i have something for you today yeah so not necessarily it's a promotion no think but it can be something that value added to them <coughs> you can also do segmentation segmentation as in segmentation as in vip customers or you label them differently based on the product or services that they bought okay or you can label them based on country different places okay 
So you can do segmentation and then, of course, analytics to look at how well are you keeping your email database active. So example of analytics that you want to uh, focus on like open rate, click-through rate, unsubscribe rate, spam rate. So these are important metrics to look at the sentiment and activity of your subscribers. You will know who click what when they click. Yeah, the whole analytics report is in your fingertips. If you use Gmail broadcast, that's it. You don't know whether they open your email. You don't know how many people open, how many people bounce. But CRM, email marketing um, software, they can help you do that. So you can have control. Like I said, you don't have to fear, have the fear that when you wake up tomorrow and then Facebook suspend your account. No. So you can have control. If you don't like this provider A, you can go to provider B. If you don't like MailChimp, you can change to get response. If you don't like get response, you can change to intuition of. So there are many brands out there that can cater some of your needs, right? So you have the control who to choose. And then you can automate. For example, you automate some sequence, like welcome sequence. When people subscribe to your email, so you need to send them an email, welcome email, right? It's not just a uh, hi, thank you very much for signing up, full stop. It's not like that. Huh? So you must have certain emails like a welcome email. So why? Uh, because by the way, uh, do you know that welcome email is the highest open rate email of all? So usually this welcome email among all other emails is one of the highest open welcome email. So it's very important that how you write that welcome email so that you can create the momentum anticipation allows them to continue to open up your email on the second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, and sixth time and more. So you can automate this part. Whenever you have a welcoming sequence, newsletter sign up, uh, campaign launching, right? So you can do all this and reduce more cost time and at the same time seeing the results that you want to see. Here are the, all the things that emails marketing can help you do, okay? So it's not just broadcasting email, right? bear in mind. It's not just broadcasting sales message. So it's not like that, right? So let's move on. So what you need to understand few things is that um, emails, like example, you have this thing called subscriber list. You have this thing called single opt-in, double opt-in, understanding the metrics, different types of email, how we write and then different tools to help you to automate your marketing automation. So subscriber list is important to know how you want to build them. So once they come in through your email marketing, they sit on the list. How are you going to nurture them? How are you going to educate and promote? Yeah, so these are called a campaign, email marketing campaign. And then I'll explain to you a little bit about why, what is single opt-in and double opt-in. So basically single opt-in is when you subscribe and you will fall into the list, right? You will join the list directly. Double opt-in, the person need to do one more step, which is they subscribe to your email newsletter. Example, they need to go to the email to confirm that they want to receive emails from you. So they need to do two steps. You just think of it like a two FA, right? Two factor authentication huh? It's the same thing. Then you have metrics. I share a little bit already. So email marketing, it's important for us to know the open rate, the click-through rate, unsubscribe rate. So you will know whether people like what we provide, right? Whether can we improve our content? Can we improve the headlines? Can we improve the way that we write so that people don't unsubscribe? Then you can also check your list, whether it's healthy or not. If there's a lot of bounce rate, hard bounce, soft bounce, it, then maybe the list you may need to do some cleanup cleansing huh? cleanse the list from time to time and then there are also types of feed emails that we want we'll talk about what kind of emails can we write what types of emails so promotional emails is just one of them so we also have other like uh, informational emails right that value added emails then last one is the crm too so whenever you subscribe to things like mailchimp get response available. So these are CRM tools that not just helping you to broadcast email, get your email delivered to your subscribers inbox, but they can do automation. 
they can help you do analytics they can help you do segmentation and all the all the different different things that i share about on my previous slide which is this one okay so invest in a crm2 don't have to be it's, it's not expensive uh, by the way it's not expensive usually they will go by the numbers of contacts if you have more contacts then you just need to pay more right okay so key concept here about subscriber list so subscribers list is someone that gives you information right so what do you count as subscribers number one they must give you one thing called email so once they give you email they consider subscribers already yeah that which also they request that have given you permission to send them emails so this is called subscriber not the name list that you buy from outside then you upload there those are not subscribers and don't do that huh? don't do that so they are a few times um some businesses or some people they will go and buy emails okay buy emails like they say oh i have 1500 ceo email list you know just pay 300 ringgit and then you get all this thousand five email list then you upload to crm then you broadcast so it's not going to help you anyway because number one they don't know you they are also human they don't know you so when you send emails you don't get a lot of traction number two it's it's not it's it's violating the policy if you are doing that for crm so they will they will also suspend you huh? if they know that you are doing this because you buy emails lists from outside and then you up, update here okay so subscriberly is someone that they sign up voluntarily and then they give you permission to email them always treat your subscribers like a friend because they are human too when you broadcast when you write you write to them you write to your friend you like someone that is important to you that you respect not just treat them as list okay not just list huh? so if you can adopt this approach in writing emails i think it will definitely helps you okay okay next one segmentize your subscribers based on audience example um don't just put everything in master list as in you broadcast then you broadcast to every single one so you should have segmentized different people like you have prospects list or subscriber list right you have customers list your suppliers list you have uh, lists that separate based on anniversary you know those are fine too so the idea here is you can personalize your email you don't use you don't send a generic email to everyone so you just need you segmentize already you can create a special email cater for this group of people okay so that's the power of segmentation all right let's talk about opt-in let's just just now i mentioned that single opt-in is where you sign up you don't have to do anything and then you will join the list straight double opt-in will give you another steps to confirm that you want to receive email from the particular person right or website so double opt-in and single opt-in when you do that there's a pros and cons that we need to take into consideration if you are setting up an email marketing campaign not campaign uh, sorry if you are setting up an email marketing what they call sequence you want to build list right you want to build list you can either choose to have single opt-in or double opt-in when someone subscribe so let's say you choose single opt-in so you will focus a lot on what you call convenience so if i like your website i want to subscribe it's easy for me because i just subscribe that's it put my details and i inside your list and this can help in driving volume huh? a lot of lists and then you have also few potential of losing qualified leads and it's quick and easy but there's one con one downside is it will have higher spam rate this is if you are using opt-in permission if you're using double opt-in permission you will have higher quality list growth because not everyone will want to go to the email check again to confirm huh? so the list is higher growth but the quality is better at the same time you get lower spam rate okay so you will could also lose out some potential leads yeah 
and the growth is slower uh, because you added another firewall in front. So reduce spam. Which one should you use? Single opt-in or double opt-in? The answer depends. Yeah, depending on your growth stage right now, depending on the capability, the capacity of your manpower, managing the email marketing, depending on the activities that you want to do, depending on your company direction. If you are starting out, then single opt-in maybe is important to you because you want to generate a lot of subscribers. So you don't set any higher criteria to allow people to come in. So you set lower criteria, people just subscribe, come in, subscribe, come in, subscribe, come in. So you drive a lot of volume. Then you filter out. For double opt-in, if you really focus on quality, then maybe double opt-in is something that you can work on, okay? So double opt-in, usually the delivery rate will be also higher. That means if all my subscribers that I broadcast emails to are using double opt-in to come in, eh, my emails will go into the inbox at a higher rate, not promotional box, not junk box. If you use single opt-in, then the chances of your email, right, fell into their spam box, junk box is higher. Understand? So this is the difference between single opt-in and double opt-in. Okay, so let's talk about three types of emails. So first one is transactional emails. Transactional emails are emails that you buy something, you got invoice, you got notification uh, about the support, about order confirmation. So these are transactional emails. The second one is called relational email that you use it to build relationship. Okay, welcome email is one of them, lead magnetic delivery emails, updates, content email. And then the last one is promotional emails, which you use it broadcast to promote about your new offer, trial, product launch, upgrade, sale, flash sales, and so on and so forth. So most important thing is to work on your relational email because a lot of people will focus on which one promotional email, right? So whenever you write emails campaign for your company, a lot of time they will say, okay, let's write some email and get some sales. Okay. And talks about new product, new offer, new discount. Don't do that. Huh? Don't do that. Huh? Mix, have some balance. Yeah. Have some balance. Focus more on relational email and lesser on promotional email. Then you can keep your email list in the more healthy way. <coughs> Sorry. So let's talk a bit about email marketing strategies that can help you increase your open rate, click-through rate, and conversion rate. So generally, you want to do segmentation, okay? Segmentize who they are, yeah? Second, personalize. So whenever there's a birthday <coughs> or anniversary, you can send an automated email to them. You can use first name. First name means you can put in their personalized name, right? Uh, and then you can segmentize based on their gender interest. Then you write a personalized email to them. Third one is the timing when they sign up, right? So when they sign up, welcome email should send to them immediately. Okay. So when they sign up, welcome email should send to them immediately. And you can set that automatically. And then you can also like, when do you think your subscribers are most active? At which time? Is it morning time, right? Afternoon time or evening time? So the time that you send makes a difference too. And then maybe if you are doing events, then you want to send out for reminders, then that's also very important. Like three days reminders, two days reminders, one day, 24 hours, right? 12 hours left. That time of reminders to help improve what you call the show up rate or even the uh, take up rate for your campaign. Next one is the engagement. So engagement, we will talk about title, content, frequency, junk box, inbox. And these are how they calculate, huh? uh, how, how, how they measure. If you want to increase your open rate, which one is the most important one to look into? 
is the headline and the pre-headline, right? So which is the title. Which one will, uh, will, will increase click-through rate? How would you increase click-through rate? So the answer lies in the content that you write, right? And the copy. Are you using a very difficult to read font type? Is your font size very small? Do you use um, a lot of uh, colors? Or do you have a button? Don't know what's the call to action, okay? And then frequency, right? Frequency engagement. Like how frequent do you send email? How frequent should we send? Should you send three times a week, five times a week, once a week? So the answer will also be depending on what type of campaigns are you talking about? If let's say you have a product launch campaign, maybe you need to send regular emails per week or in two weeks time. If you only want to have updates and nurture, build relationship, keep in touch, maybe once a week, then that's fine too. Okay, so having all these things put things together, you will increase the overall engagement. So effective email marketing strategy is to have an active list that will always engage with you, with your content. And whether, be, whether your emails goes into inbox, junk box, these are also an indication of whether people are engaging with your emails. Fifth is the call to action. Okay, so you must have hyperlink maybe somewhere around the front part, middle part, or the bottom part. And you must also have a call to action, like what you want people to do, okay? What you want them to do? Click, go to a website, click, go to um, reply to you, you know? So those call to action must be prominent, okay? So this is some of the idea of how to improve your email marketing strategy. Okay, last one is the analytics. If you don't measure, then you don't know what's wrong with your email. So could be the headline that have issue, could be the content that have the issue, could be the offer that have issue. So you, you want to use the analytics tools which already built in in your CRM, they can help you do that. Okay. So what do you see here? You see, um, this one, right? So you want to be a professional trainer. So you will see that um, the dates is quite constant, uh, constant, and then they, the email is the same thing. You realize that the email, the headline is the same. So this is one of the common mistakes people do. Don't send the same headlines every time to the subscribers. People will know, people will, people will see, okay? So don't do that. Huh? Make sure you change your headline every time. Okay, what about this one? Big sale, four more days to big sale. You want do you want to miss this big sale? Free shipping day. Enjoy up to 35, uh, 350 off, 50 off. So it's about promotion, 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 promotion. Maybe this one is like a announcement, okay? So if you have a lot of promotion, promotion, maybe, maybe, right? A lot of people will get annoyed because they are because they are always asking people to buy things unless this is like a brand that you really really love right or else don't do that yeah this is not a healthy way to do it as well now of course you know you we don't compare shopee lazada they say you know shopee lazada they always do this what but they already have you know so many millions of subscribers and customers so don't follow what other people do okay must have your own what you call understanding about your customers who are you serving actually right now this one is better so you look at the one thing you look at the content is more about educational content so they have part three how to double your income part four how to double your income part five and then you have um uh, what you call a value emails, like right? winning strategies in the volatile market. So inside it talks about webinar, right? I'm going to do a webinar. This is what I'm going to teach. So register if you're interested. So all this actually inside are more about valuable content. So his name is Casey Lau, yeah, my friend. And uh, he's also someone that I really respect and look up to because 
he really do a good job in terms of helping his subscribers uh, to grow. And a lot of time, he only use email marketing to run his promotion and campaign because he really, really take care of his community. Okay, so you can check out his website, kclau.com if you want, and then you'll know what I mean. So it's not about how often, it's not about how often you broadcast your email. More important question to ask is, does your email provide value? Do you? Yeah. And let's say, yes, my email provides value. So how often, how often should you broadcast before asking for a sale? How often or how many valuable emails should I send out before asking for a sale? Now, there are different uh, ways to do it, but the more, more, most common way one is the two plus one or three plus one. Huh? Two plus one or three plus one method. Two plus one or three plus one email marketing campaign. So what is this? So it's value plus value plus promo, right? Or value plus value plus value plus promo. So now you have email one, email two, email three. Email one, two, three, then four. So this is one of the funnel that you can use. So for example, you can use this uh, email marketing Okay, so one, one example, uh, number one. So you can use this call a uh, GLF campaign. So G stands for gain, right? You gain emails and you can send a logic email. And you can send fear email, right? And then you can ask for a sale. So one thing to do, example, gain email about what's uh, you're going to get from subscribing to my newsletter, right? I'm going to teach you how to do this, how to do that. And then the next email, you can talk about the logical side of your know, product or services, okay? Logical side, like statistics, like the facts, right? Science, something that is related with facts to support. And then fail email is about uh, it, what you call elicit their feel emotion. Okay, so what happened if you don't use, if you don't do this properly? What will happen if you don't use my products or services? What could happen? What would you lose if you don't pick up these products? Okay, so it's not so much on sale. It's maybe a little bit of a subtle sales message. And then only you do a promo email. Prep them, right? So you prep them. Gain, logic, fear, then you prep them. So this is one of the campaign that's very famous that's been using for many, many uh, marketers. Yeah, it's called a GLF campaign. Example two is the welcome email campaign, right? So welcome email campaign funnel. So first is to welcome email. So what do, should you write in your welcome email? So what should you write? Example. Um, you can talk about uh, show appreciation. Thank you very much for signing up for this email marketing webinar. I really appreciate your effort to do it. And then a little bit about you slash company slash brand. Yeah. So my name is Alex and I've been doing this digital marketing for more than eight years now. And it is my passion and my mission to always elevate the other person's marketing skills as much as I can. Doesn't matter whether you are from which background. Yeah, As long as you want to learn, we are, you have the same interest, you want to grow, then thank you and welcome to my community. Yeah, Show appreciation and then you can put what to expect. So after this email, day two, day three, day four, five, and onwards, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you some uh, daily tips, daily newsletter about how to improve your digital marketing performance, right? How do you run a better ad? How can you use email marketing to generate more leads and sales? Yeah. Uh, so what to expect? And here's then resources.
Say, by the way, if you have some time now, here are some of our best, you know, best read articles, uh, best selling uh, services, best selling products, you know, just to take a look and check us out and let us know how we can help. So how to reach out, okay? So how to reach out. So you can reply this email and we have a team of professional ready to answer your questions. Or you can go to my Instagram and you can DM us any questions, right? And then closing, okay, close. So thank you, yeah, your fans, just like that. So this is one example, a welcome email. So welcome email, once you send welcome email, so once you send welcome email, then you can send a day two email, right? Day three email then you can do promo email if you want so day two email they will have higher chance of open then day three email will have also higher chance of opening because you put in effort on welcoming them so people will appreciate you right people know the way that you write it's not like dear mr so and so thank you for your interest in registering webinar as please find the refer attachment on what to expect for the next few days. Please note that we do not allow blah, 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 blah. So if you are doing that way, I, I, I'm not sure you can try, but I don't think this will help a lot in building relationship. So what if, if you are corporate, right? Corporate is the same thing. You are talking to human. So you may want to, of course, align with your company tone of voice of how you want to present. Okay. Generally speaking, people who are reading your emails is because they are human too. They want to grow. They want to learn. So really need to understand. Eh? So pro tip. Eh? Really understand who are your audience. Okay. Who your audience? What? Do they want to what do they want to learn or expect from your newsletter? Okay, how can you add value to them? So these are the questions that I will ask and I'll make sure that I'm I'm doing this for them, not just to ask for sale. So it's not you, it's them. Okay. Them, huh? So always remember who are they and what are they expecting from you. Okay, so using this mindset, I think and I believe based on my experience, I've done this many many times for many many years. It's always the same. Okay, so email marketing is just like Telegram group. You join a Telegram group, right? I'm sure you join. Why? Because there's the interest of topics is relevant. And then if the person keeps spamming you with buying the products, you would not want to be there too. It's the same thing as email marketing, right? So integrate content marketing into your email marketing funnels. Okay. So the goal here, purpose, huh? so at the end of the day, you can either use it for uh, Building authority, you can do that, right? Building authority, um, nurture and educate, yeah? Engage, then convert, yeah? So these are some of the keywords that can help, that you can remember. Yeah, if you can't remember everything, just re remember the keywords, yeah? So it will help you too. So let me move on. We are going to finish up. So here are some of the ways to write a better email marketing copy. Example, number one, use font size that is big enough for mobile version because a lot of people are using mobile to look at emails, yeah? And you want to use font type that can read that is friendly for mobile. Don't make them zoom in. Eh? If you make them zoom in, it means you're not giving uh, what they call good customers experience already yeah so user experience yeah user experience will be affected 
you can include small thumbnail or image in your email to make it a little bit more colorful but make sure the file size is small because if you have if you upload big file size if you upload big file size it's going to go into junk box huh? so don't use don't upload high resolution or you know high file size image number three use bold and underline only when it's necessary don't bold everything don't underline a lot of things make it cleaner it's clean concise organized emails use consistent brand color for hyperlinks for example if you want to ask them to click go to a website to e-commerce store to check out your landing page then the hyperlink should be consistent with your brand color you can do it yeah like blue color green color red color just to create a brand consistent branding and for them to remember yeah add a logo you can also add a ps ps like a post note huh? post note people will usually eat ps they don't really um, read through the entire not necessarily they will read through the entire email content but for ps usually they will read okay not sure if you realize this is a psychology huh? a lot of people they feel that oh okay uh content content then they'll just swipe through then the ps is the one that usually will capture the attention so you can make use of ps include sign off focus on one specific offer so this is not like a weekly newsletter weekly newsletter is like you have a lot of things that you can talk about right uh we you have three articles and you share this one is different huh? specific offer means you this whole email you only talk about one thing one purpose then inside you may have multiple links that link to the same place for example you have uh you launch a skincare product so this email only talks about this new skincare product then all the links will direct them to this new skincare product not talk about skincare product after that talks about uh, different supplement that can eat different drinks not like that huh? so it's specific offer talks about one thing one topic focus you can also have subject matter uh, your headline huh? so subject headline matters because this is the first thing people see before they decide want to click or not there's a lot of emails that go into a person's inbox every single day how do you want to make it more prominent right and make your write-up organized simple clean one to two write-up one to two sentences per paragraph proper spacing must have contrast background example black and white so if you do this the whole visual the whole visual look at the email it's more comfortable yeah easy for people to digest to read to scan include few cta and hyperlinks across your email copy i mentioned you must have few call to actions huh, along the way use bullet point if it's necessary yeah because people will scan people don't read your email first they will scan first what is it about then you use bullet point to guide their line to guide the eyes to read from the top to bottom to the bottom to the top okay so this is one way to do it and then of course font type that is easy for reading example you put 16 example uh, 16 px or 15 px to make the font type uh, readable on mobile write in a conversational tone yeah so don't use dear sir please find the attached uh, emails for your future reference oh, don't write like that lah okay so write in a more conversational tone that's why you need to understand who are your audience what do they like to read how how would they want to connect with you uh, so this is another topics about customer avatar next time you have chance next time i'll talk to you more right personalize with first name first name means uh, dynamics huh? so let's say you broadcast to 1000 people so each people with their own name it will show it will show right like alex ab uh valencia da, 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 so and so on forth so you have different different names that you can personalize so using crm can help you do that all right so i guess this is uh i think i went over a little bit already so the rest i will 
I just one more, give you one more slides, final slides, which is about some tools that you can choose. Um, maybe you're using your tools. Yeah. So these are some other tools that you can uh, explore. If let's say you feel that you need some alternatives, active campaign, send in blue, constant contact, infusions of send Fox, a river, build team, can respond. These are some of the tools that are quite good in the market. Some are more expensive, some are cheaper. Like get response is quite pretty good. I've been using get response for some time. Then active campaign is so okay. And then constant contact also been used by a lot of people. Huh? Infusionsoft is a bit more technical because it can do a lot, a lot of things. Yeah. So a lot of functions inside and it may be confusing for beginner. So if you just want a simple one, active campaign get response is okay. Get response is very user friendly. Sandfox lesser features, but okay. Mailchimp, the famous one. I don't really use Mailchimp is because not easy to use. Uh, to me, not really friendly. Huh? Then you have Aviva. Aviva is also okay. So these are some of the tools that I tested, tried last time. Not all, but most of them I tried before. Or oh, some of them are recommended by friends, by uh, authority, by KOL in the industry. Huh? So you can explore. Now there are, of course, there are a lot of other tools that you can explore. As long as it helps you, the support is good. The pricing is okay. The delivery rate is high, means uh, because you're using the IP address to send email. You're using their IP, right? So you're using their uh, system to send email. So they'll send it on behalf of you. So if their, if their system name is strong, then your emails will go to the person's inbox. You get what I mean? So when you send email, it's not your own email. Right? When you send email, you go through their server. So their server name must be reputable. Uh, so this is very important. Okay, a little bit technical, but anyway, these are the one that I don't think will, will help. It's going to help you and I don't think it will be expensive or will not make you a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for your time. Um, keep in touch. I hope I can see you soon in the near future and thank you for attending the class. So right now I'm going to pass back to um, stop sharing and pass back to Nafis. So we will have Q&A, right? I'm not sure if you have any questions. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you so much Mr. Alex for the great and energetic sharing. And thank you everyone for joining. So if you have any question, you can drop the question in the comment below. Okay, so any questions? So let's see. I'm also holding my uh, phone and see if there's any questions. Oh, two comments. So I don't know what comment is that. Would you be able to see? Oh, any upcoming workshop? <laughs> Priscilla, thank you for that. Uh, you can contact Excel Academy. I think, I believe so, uh, June. June, there's one in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, we, uh, we have a two days workshop. A, two days workshop. Yeah. Mm, so thank you very much for your support, Priscilla. I appreciate that. Shafiq, so far so good. Okay, so any questions? Anything regarded, uh, regarding the workshop, you can talk to Nafis and the Excel Academy. And uh, yeah, I really hope that I can talk to all of you more in person, meet you all, understand you all, because nowadays it's more on social learning. It's, there's no way that one person can learn everything, right? So even I'm in this industry for so long, I still learn from other people. Uh, I still continue to uh, attend workshop because I really, uh, I really believe in social learning and each other will have our own insights and to share. Okay, Chris, I wonder email marketing works because I delete all such email without reading them. Yes, me too. So the idea here is, is because those email doesn't really, it's not important to you. That's why you delete them. Okay. But if it's, it's something that's important to you, for example, let's say you're a Maybank user, then Maybank send you an email, say, important email please read right so you will open it right because maybe your main user you want to see look at the announcement okay 
to me is this why you delete is because um it's not important to you so simple as that but if people really if people really uh believe in what you do they join your community they want to receive okay so so this is how it works right so i'll answer your uh, questions if not you can ask again right next question cold email and email marketing can use concurrently hmm good questions huh yes answer is yes but you need to design certain funnels to activate the cold email to become warm email uh, if you are talking about cold email, I said you buy from outside, then I don't suggest you to do because it's it's violating the policy. It's not very good for your brand and reputation. Huh? It's not that good. But if let's say you say that, oh, I have master list, cold email list. I've been not in touch with them for two years. Okay, this is okay. So you need to resign this call reactivation campaign funnels to write. Example, you write say, hey, I have not been hearing you from the past two years just to tell you that I'm still alive and uh, I hope that uh, we can uh, we, we can serve you more and then talk a bit about your updates what we've been working on and if you want to continue to look at what we have done how we can help you please click on this link yeah so once you click this link it would bring them to another list already so this is a bit technical but but the concept is like this uh, you need to redesign the reactivation why are you going to tell them because you have not talking to them two years right so put that in mind yeah okay so i hope that answer your questions any other questions if you have been using email marketing tool for quite some time but the open is still not much anyway we can tackle it yes so shafani that's a good question thank you very much number one you want to look at the average open rates is at which stage and then you want to analyze the content what is the content inside is the content that you want to promote or is the content that they want to see is two different things is the content that you want to promote or is the content that they want to see so we need to really go deeper and analyze yeah so sometimes it could be also headline but since you mentioned that for quite some time then a lot of audit may need to do some people because they may headline they change a bit change a bit change a bit uh, they don't really do a big difference so it will have low open rates click to rate is the same thing it's a content so usually it's one of these two tackle so you have to see really what we send is what they want to see okay any other questions any tips to grow email list because usually people up to buying when their list is small ah yes uh, one is patient huh? patient um you can up in uh, you can grow email list by having a sales funnel a lead magnet offer so for example let's say you are in um, let's say i'm in digital marketing right example i just give you an example i can say that you know if you want to get my top 10 checklist of how we work with uh, companies like dksh iProperty, and help them grow their marketing performance these are all insider news that you cannot get anywhere in the internet now sign up to my list so you want to make the offer is so good that people say, oh, I want, yes, I want. Uh, then uh, you can grow your list from there. Of course, you can run ads. Yeah, but the front part is the lead magnet funnel to grow the list. Okay, you can also use SEO. So don't just write, sign up to our newsletter. Sign up newsletter. This is a very old style already. Newsletter is a very abstract word. It's very normal word. Huh? So you want to add some impact adding the copywriting so the lead magnet offer front part is what people want they will come to your list yeah so don't buy yeah don't buy okay next master list as in those recipient aka customer who generate most of the company say is it okay priscilla good questions master list could be could be everyone customers prospect okay so you want to you can you can have a master list then you break so you have master list then you break one is uh customers okay then you break one is non buyers okay now of course i don't i don't not show sure which industry you in but generally speaking master list is everyone customers non customers then you break more few more few more like that 
to help you segmentize better your customer list. Okay. As of now, which digital marketing tool is the most effective one? Facebook, TikTok, IG, or oh, this one's a bit sidetracked. Huh? Uh, in my opinion, Facebook, uh, no, I shouldn't say that. Each platform has their own strength. Huh? Each platform has their own strength. Most effective will depends on the industry, depending on where your customer is congregating. So for example, let's say I'm in construction, like I mean, I interior design. On B2B. So which one is the most effective? If you ask me, Google, LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn, I can do email marketing. Google, I can run SEO, I can do Google Ads. Facebook, maybe more on B2C, like e-commerce, like service for public. Okay. So TikTok is more for awareness, for exposure, for low ticket item sales. Uh, so these are the one that, uh, this is my insights, uh, what I learned. So you can, you can check it out. Okay. How I answer your questions. Next question. Ada lagi? Okay. Uh, so that's all right, the question. I think. Okay. Good. Okay. So, all right. Thank you for all the questions. So hope you all have uh, gained a lot of insight from today's session. So as shown on the screen right now, you can see uh, Mr. Alex, has the digital marketing masterclass on 13 and 14 June on Armada Hotel PJ. So it will be a face-to-face -face session with Mr. Alex for digital marketing. So you, if you are interested to join, you may contact us for furthermore or registration form and we will give you the brochure. Okay, so all right. And these are the other uh, upcoming courses. So uh, for those of you who are interested to learn more about any of these courses, uh, you can contact us for more details and for registration. And if you missed today's session, you can watch it again on our FB page and YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to follow our social media platform to get our latest news and update. That's all. See you again tomorrow, same time, but with a different topic. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you everyone. So I hope to